Hello everyone. So as you all know, the new patch came out and there's a lot of nerfs and buffs, mostly nerfs, and the Lux and Karma deck got hit hard. So basically what happened is Loyal Badger was nerfed. He used to be a 4-4, now he's a 3-4. Grizzled Ranger got nerfed, he used to be a 4-1, now he's a 3-1. Deep Meditation got nerfed, now it's 5 mana, it used to be 4 mana. And lastly, Karma got nerfed used to be 5 mana drop, now she's a 6 mana drop. Now this obviously is gonna affect the effectiveness of the deck, since a lot of its cards got hit with nerfs. But does this mean the deck is trash? Obviously not, the deck is still fine in my opinion, and I think it still works well on the ladder. Now it might be a little bit slower, that's an issue, it might have a little bit of struggle to maintain board control, that's also an issue. Now, I think we can tweak around in the deck and make it a little bit more consistent. Firstly, of course, I think Concussive Bomb might need to be removed. And we can add Concentrated Strike instead. But that's not I still like Concussive Bomb, to be honest. Healing Pots, though, I think I might take out two. Healing Pots are good for more health. If you need to survive a little bit more. If you need to level up locks or get a beam. They're really useful. But their focus is to survive against Bernagro. And Bernagro also got nerfed. So we might not need a lot of pots anymore. We can swap them with a retreat. Retreat is a really good card. It can save our units from dying. If we have a Karma, if we have a Lux on board that's about to die, we can save them. And we get to have a fleeting return in hand. This also can be helpful if we're trying to get a beam. So I think two retreats instead of two healing pots can make the deck a little bit better. But for the time being, I'm not going to tweak anything. I'm going to keep the deck as it is. I'm going to play a couple of games, probably more than a couple, with this deck. See how it runs, if it works well, if it's struggling, and we'll see how it goes. Uh, I'm currently Platinum 3. I'm really close to Platinum 2. And... We'll see how our games go. So without further ado, here we go. So I think we're one game away from hitting Platinum 2. So we're pretty close to Diamond by now. I want to see how the deck functions. If it's going to work out. Do I struggle a lot? But we'll see. We're going against Sejuani and uh, Gangplank. We have... I kind of like this. I kind of want to keep it. I can't, I feel like keeping it. I might actually keep the Grizzled. Do I want to get rid of one Grizzled Ranger? Or do I want to keep both of them? I'll just keep both of them. I think it's alright. I think it gives me more board control. So what we're expecting here is he's going to try his best to hit my face so he can level up his Sejuani and Gangplank. Now obviously I can't prevent that just yet, but I'll be trying to prevent it later on in the game. He's probably going to get one more free hit before I can deal anything with it. Badger Bearer 3-4 looks so weird. Uh, I'm gonna take out this, just so he doesn't deal extra damage to me from a spell. He's probably gonna open attack here. Yeah. His goal right now is to just level up the Sejuani and uh, Gangplank. Oh, he did that. That's fine, I guess. Uh, I'll play Grizzled Ranger here. Slow down, will you? I talked about this in the video where I was talking about the patch, patch notes. Uh, I think we're gonna be seeing it a little bit more. 
Okay, I'll play my Crescent Ranger. This card can be really good if when you're using it on a tanky unit. Like, let's say Sejuani and you want to heal it. We need to take out the 3-3 the three, three, so it doesn't freeze my units next turn. And I want to take it out with single combat. I'm just scared he'll give her 2 HP. But I think I should risk it. But not just right now. I'll wait, attack with everything, then we'll see what we do. I want to see if he uses any mana. Okay. So I didn't use anything. I'm gonna risk it, but I'm gonna use it on the Grizzled Ranger, not my Badger Bear. Because I'm gonna get a Badger Bear out of the Grizzled Ranger. Okay, we got rid of that. Next turn, I'm looking to play... Probably Lux. If... If I feel she's safe. Bow to no one. Wait, why that? Why the 3-1? He could've used it on my 3-4, killed it, and still dealt damage to my Nexus. I think that would've been a better play. I'll play Lux here, there is no threat on her. Stand and fight. I'll just pass. Yeah, th that was a misplay for my opponent. Obviously I'm gonna use Remembrance here. We get a beam out of it. Hopefully we get a good card. Actually all of them are good card now. The moose got buffed. Now how do we want to do this? Because I could uh, challenge the Sejuani. I could challenge the Sejuani and then use beam on her and kill her. But well, we'll see what he plays. Gangplank. Who do I want to kill? Who's more of a threat to me? Is it Sej or Gangplank? I think Sejuani is more of a threat than Gangplank. Because if she's leveled up, I'm in trouble. I'll try to take her out here. He might be able to save her. But I'll drop her health by a lot. Okay. We use this. We use the beam on the Sage. We kill it. And I'm gonna play Shadow Assassin. Now next turn I might use a Concussive Bomb. Just to stop any incoming damage. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna block the 3-1 with a 3-4 and we're gonna stun the Gangplank. Pretty much what I did here, I stopped the Overwhelm damage from hitting my Nexus. If I blocked the 3-1 with my Shadow Assassin, I would have taken 1 damage to the Nexus which pretty much helps him level up. He could buff it here, yeah. He's gonna buff it. Uh, we still have mana for recall. So we're gonna recall it. And he pretty much wasted that card. And we took no damage. 
anything to prolong the level up of Sage and Gangplank is good. I'm gonna play another uh, Remembrance and get a beam. I can kill Gangplank here if I want to. But let's see what he plays. Oh. This is an issue. It's really tanky, I can't kill it. It's really tanky, so I can't technically kill it unless he blocks with it but I could attack with my shadow assassin and drop his health I also attack with my uh, radiant as well but do I want to use my beam first I'll just attack with the shadow assassin drop his health to 7 and then I'll use my beam on the gangplank and I'll kill him. So I'll drop him to 5 HP. Wait, what? He's using this on shot. Why would you do that? I don't think this is the right play. He just wasted his other gangplank and he fully knows I'm gonna kill his gangplank. Might also have another one in his hand, so I should be careful. That's why he made this play. Oh. Okay, this is an issue. Doesn't that make his 3 1 really strong? Like his overwhelm is super strong right now, right? My spirit is an unquenchable fire. Let's see. Does it kill me? No, it doesn't kill me. Through me. It deals fine damage now, I think. If I block this with this. I oh shit, I die. Uh I need to block the four eights. I still take a lot. And this I survive but I take but I'm at four health. But if I do this because my three four is gonna die anyway, so I don't care about him. And I can save one of them with single combat. No, not, uh, we're not gonna skill the Radiant, of course. We're gonna use it on the Badger Bear. And this pretty much, we don't take any damage to the face. And I still keep the Radiant alive. You also need to be careful. He might have any sort of counter to this. So you need to keep your Radiant blocking just in case if he has any counter. You have uh, something to block. Don't just, oh, I have single combat, he's 100% dead. Let's now the only option for me is just to open attack. I don't have any spells. I need to open attack here and hope I can win it. Okay, that was it. So, my opinion, the deck is still good. It still works well. We kind of had an issue with our spells. We didn't have good spells. Oh, we didn't have the platinum too. We need one, one more game. That's unlucky. But yeah, thanks for watching. Take care and goodbye.